You know, it's funny, man. Things never go as you were expecting. Like, never. Like, we may have a certain idea in our head of how things may unravel for us, but it's like, when it gets to the end, things never... Things never match the idea you gave yourself in your head. It's always different. At least for me, like, the feelings are very different. I think we have an... I think we all have a vision of what we plan for us like we all have an idea of where we want to be and i think sometimes when we get to that certain milestone we look back and it's like man i could have done more i could have been more successful i could have done this i could have done that but it's like if you give yourself a minute to really reflect and if, if you're someone who's been putting in a lot of work and really just trying to become a better individual you'll be able to see this huge gap of what, you're, of what you've really been able to accomplish, not only for yourself, but the people around you. And it's like, the more that you direct all of that energy inward, and you really begin to pay attention to your internal state, you can do a lot of damage. You can really create a fulfilling life, not only externally, but a, you know, a sustainable, comforting, strong internal state. And I think that's the main objective. That's the main goal that we should all be searching for. But it's like I had this certain expectation that I was going to feel a certain way when something external was brought to fruition. When I saw external results, I thought that I would feel safe. I would feel sustainable. I would feel comfort. I would feel content because I'm getting validation from for where I was putting all of my energy. But as things begin to unfold, I thought I was gonna be on a high by this point, like have a, a huge amount of success. And it's like the it's like the quite opposite. Because it's like I'm in this in-between stage. It's like this window where I can it's like a I I'm able to go back and self-reflect on the past three years of my life and what I've accomplished and what I've told myself I was going to do and, 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 and really just looking back. And it's like I held myself to such high expectations, such unrealistic expectations that it actually diminished and killed a lot of fire and passion inside of me. And it's like all of this of what I was trying to do was not only to try to help other people, but it was to help myself. And I I really wasn't understanding why I was doing all of this. And I think part of me having such high expectations was, was, the, was the drive, was the force for me really trying to sum up the reality I was living, that I was creating, what my mind was, was telling me, what I thought I was telling myself. And it's like all of this was internal work. The, 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 the passion, the integrating, and really transmuting all of this anger and, and things inside of me that I wasn't never really aware of. And it's like as your internal state begins to change, your idea of how you saw yourself or where, you're, where, where you pictured yourself to be is completely different. And it's like a lot of things begin to fade away from you. A lot of things begin to change your interest. It's like I'm constantly transforming inside. And when I believe I have found all of me, there's like more to me. And it's kind of, it gets uncomfortable because it's that in-between stage. It's like you can feel yourself changing and you're not really sure what's going on or what this is because it's like a new version of you wants to be adapted it wants to be alive again and it's like when you're not a, when you're not adjusted and you're not acquainted with that new spirit that new version of you it can be very uncomfortable so it's like a lot of us may vision us to be at a certain level but in order to obtain that level a part of us needs to change a part of us needs to be intertwined with this new spirit that is that wants to be adapted internally so w where i kind of went wrong was listening to this to this self doubt i'm not where i'm supposed to be things are not 
unfolding the, the way that I imagined. I'm failing. I'm behind. I'm losing everything. What is going on? My fire, my passion, my drive, my inspiration, my motivation, everything is going away from me. What, what is going on? But here, I had to take a minute and, and really just try to adapt and, and, and feel this new version because where I envisioned myself is completely different. I was in like this fast overdrive, go, go, go type of mentality. But in order for me to, to get to where I want to get to or which would make me actually feel peace, I have to adapt to this new calming force it's it's not a it's not a aggressive i need to go out and fight survival type of mindset anymore and for the longest the last couple of weeks i've been really kind of doubting it and like damn i'm losing all of my f not faith but i'm losing i'm losing all of what used to give me energy but now that i don't have to fight anymore Everything feels different. So it's like this in-between stage. I'm trying to learn to just allow this feeling of, of, of stillness. And not feeling like I need to prove myself consistently for me to be able to recognize my self-worth. It's like for once I'm trying to do the opposite of what my body is telling me. And I'm actually seeing immense amount of results because a lot of what our mind tells us that we need to do in order to feel worthy is actually the quite opposite. I was so controlled by my feelings that my feelings actually started to be the main culprit of why I had all of this self-doubt when it came to really ending and beginning a new cycle. Everybody is always in a constant cycle of learning something new about themselves, of learning how to transform, transmute, to be able to go back and self-reflect on everything they have learned, pre you know, previously within that cycle. And the more aware you become of yourself, you can really begin to feel and sense the ending and the birthing of a new cycle. And it's beautiful. It, it truly is beautiful because it's like you got to know yourself at, to such a high degree that you have mastered that version of yourself. And when it's time to let go, it can feel very uncomfortable because you fell in love with that previous version of yourself. But we're always changing. We're always transitioning and we're always stepping into a new cycle. But a lot of us hold on to that past version of ourselves, which is why it's very hard to evolve and continue on this wheel of, of transformation. And the more aware you can become of yourself, you can really adapt to new versions of you and you can feel things that you may have never felt before on a deeper scale that is, that is immaculate. I mean, you're feeling the vibrations and the frequencies and the emotions at the deepest depth. But the more that you don't allow yourself to become controlled by it is when you can really become influenced by it. It can really bring you a lot of satisfaction and you realize that you create your reality. You do it with such immense power, but that power comes from our state of being, how we feel emotionally. And if a lot of us are holding on to these emotions constantly, it's going to be very hard to consistently evolve and allow that old version of ourselves to be let go when it's time to transition. So it's like for the first time, man, we idolize success from external sources. Money, cars, recognition, this and that. But really what we're all looking for is just a state of, of just content and peace and happiness and joy. And, and waking up and not feeling controlled by negativity and those bitter feelings of, of unworthiness and, and feeling 
unheard and it just things not going your way and it's like the more that you can become aware of that it's like you no longer feel the need to feed into it to feed into that fear that anger the negative thoughts the intrusive thoughts because the more you feed into it it just multiplies and the more that it begins to multiply you know you you start to allow that emotion to take over your state of being to the point that when it when it gets to the end of that cycle we don't even have the mind the mind capacity or the awareness to be even able to go back and, and see what we could have learned throughout this cycle so we can allow that old version to be released and we can step in into the new beginning. So it's like I'm in that in-between stage where it's like I'm trying to learn to really adapt to these shifts and these changes and not get so headstrong on a certain identity of who I believe I am because when it's time to transition, it can actually cause a lot of distraught and a lot of discomfort because I have fed a lot of love into that certain identity. But when it's time to change, I got to let it go. So it's like uh, the art of detachment and letting go and surrendering is a vital, 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 vital practice that I think people should really begin to adapt when it comes to personally developing your character and, and really diving deep into who you believe you are. It's just very strange how life works. You have an idea of how things are going to go, you know, how things are going to go, but they go the complete opposite. And it's, it, it's for a reason. It's, it's, it's for a purpose because if, if you had every single expect, you know, expectation figured out for you, if you knew everything ahead of time, there would be no satisfaction. There would be no joy. There would be no consistency with what, with what it is that we really want to do because we would just expect everything and it just it, it would defeat the purpose. So don't really set many expectations for yourself. I'm learning to just try to flow with things. Like I said, I don't I don't know everything and I'm trying to learn everything. And once you believe that you have learned all you could learn, there's a whole other chapter waiting for you to read. And once you read that chapter, it's like you begin to go back and write your own chapter based on what you have learned. It's life can be cool, man. The more that you you know, we don't get distracted by external sources and external validation, man, you can really begin to see, you know, the blessing in the stars. And it's not necessarily, you know, the blessings in this 3D world. Yes, it can make you feel better, but all in all, are we going to stay feeling better? I think everything should be, we should, we should feel better and we should stay feeling better. So when these blessings do come in, we don't lose these blessings. We can stay with those blessings and we really, we really get a taste of what it was like to live down here before living up here. So you don't lose living up here when you finally reach up here. Hopefully that makes sense. All right. I hope you guys are enjoying your week, weekend, whatever it is for you. I love you guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. Don't take life too serious. I did for so long and I missed a lot of a lot of things that were around me and just a lot of beautiful things that I wasn't able to see because I was so blinded with how headstrong I was on a lot of things. So just try not to have expectations and allow yourself to detach and let go when it's time to detach and let go. When it's your time to go, it's your time to go. Don't fight it. Don't resist it. There's a whole other door that is just, that's unlocked and it's waiting for you to just put your hand on it and open it and step through. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. All right. I love you guys and peace and love.